Greetings for this week's devotional from Emmanuel Community United Methodist Church in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. My name is Doug Walters and I am chair of the green team at our church. As we celebrate a season of creation, thanking God for his wonderful gift of creation during our beautiful fall season in Wisconsin, Pastor Jerome has asked me to share some thoughts with you. I'd like to begin by reading some verses from the book of Job in the Bible. In this passage, Job speaks to his friends who have come to comfort him after he has suffered great loss. But ask the animals, and they will teach you, or the birds of the air, and they will tell you, or speak to the earth, and it will teach you, or let the fish of the sea inform you. Which of all these does not know that the hand of, God, the, hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. This passage reminds us how much we can learn by observing nature and the healing it can bring to us. How many of us have found some peace during a time of confusion or despair by being in nature and observing it? Perhaps we went for a walk on a trail through the woods, or maybe we just sat by a window and watched birds at a feeder. If you're like me, this calms your spirit and brings you peace. Perhaps you have heard during the past six months of the coronavirus pandemic that there has been a great increase in the number of people visiting natural areas. State park camping sites are all taken, and stores have sold out of outdoor recreation supplies. Likewise, there is a renewed interest in gardening, and those supplies have sold well. Many of us have enjoyed growing plants and eating their produce this summer. In case you don't garden, I can tell you several people who would be glad to give you tomatoes from their gardens now. I believe this increased interest in the outdoors is not a coincidence. People are seeking the healing power of nature in this depressing time of pandemic. The Ozaki Washington Land Trust, which preserves natural areas for future generations, notes in a recent newsletter that during the pandemic, the line between essentials and luxuries has been clarified. A key essential is the need for the solace within nature. We all need the healing touch of the natural world which God has created for us. As today's passage from Job states, God tries to teach us through nature, but we are often aren't willing to listen. The many devices we've created, like cell phones, computers, televisions, keep us from concentrating and connecting with the natural world around us. One of the world's great naturalists, Aldo Leopold, did much of his work in Wisconsin. Even though he died over 70 years ago, before computers or cell phones, his observations of how people were becoming disconnected from the natural world still hold true today. He said, Civilization has so cluttered this elemental man-earth relation with gadgets that the awareness of the land is growing dim. Even though we depend on the earth and its creatures for our physical and emotional well-being, we are increasingly disconnected from it by the many things we make that absorb our attention. In this process, we fail to hear God speaking to us through his creation. So, how can we reconnect with God's creation, learn from it, and be healed by it? First, we must take time to really observe nature. We may say that we don't have time for this, but I wonder if we couldn't give up some of the time we spend on our cell phones or computers. Go where you can see a sunset and take time to not only see the sun dip below the horizon, but watch the beautiful colors of the sky for several minutes after the sun sets. Go someplace near trees or plants and see if you can really notice life around you, like birds, squirrels, rabbits, deer, or turkeys. Second, learn how plants and animals live. Watch a plant as it goes through its cycle each year, from seed to growth to budding flowers, and finally to seed production and sleep. See the many colors of birds and observe how they interact with each other at a feeder. Pay some extra attention to a pet in your home. They all have lessons to teach us about the great circle of life. Finally, Bring yourself to a place of peace as you experience nature. 
give yourself several minutes to really take time to enjoy a natural place. Take a few deep breaths to slow yourself down. Open your senses to the experience, sight, hearing, smell. Try focusing on one sense at a time, like closing your eyes and just focusing on what you hear or smell. Think about words from scripture like the ones I read today. Let's listen to them again. But ask the animals and they will teach you, or the birds of the air and they will tell you. Speak to the earth and it will teach you, or let the fish of the sea inform you. Which of all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. Perhaps you might want to offer a prayer of thanks to God for this beautiful gift of nature he has put in your life. So let us pray. God, thank you for your marvelous gift of, gift of creation, for the many forms of life around us, for the beautiful colors of plants and animals, for sounds like wind in the trees and the many aromas for us to smell. Help us to take time to appreciate your creation and find the peace it brings us. Amen.